Yo, Linda. How you doing? How you doing, Linda? Glad to see me. Alrighty, guys. So, welcome back to my channel today. And we are playing The Sims 2 University of Life. And I feel like that this Let's Play is going to be a lot more fun because I'm going to see. I had Daniel already go to the pet store and see if we can actually adopt a pet. If not, then I'm going to cry and burst into tears. But... Yeah, I'm kind of excited to see if we can actually adopt a pet or not. And overall, things what happened in the last part was quite, quite crazy. Bonnie kind of cheated on Daniel. And Daniel, at this time, has not been feeling the very the greatest at this point. And he was trying to think, like, is Bonnie really the one for me? And is she, like, really worth it to hang out with and be for the rest of my life? And Daniel was like, I don't know. So he's kind of thinking of going to couple counseling. And he wants to, like, learn about it and see if he can. Him and Bonnie can actually get better. So I'm kind of curious. Can we adopt a pet? Can we? Can we, can we adopt a pet? <gasps> Wait. I want. I want to adopt you. Buy a collar. Wait. No. Okay. Restock this real quick. I have to pay that with my own money. Are you crazy? Oh yeah. I don't. I don't understand. I can't. Wait. Can I buy this one? <gasps> Wait. No. Watch. F M C U. What? What kind of hamster name is that? How do I buy a pet? That's the question here. That's the real question. How do I buy a pet? We're going to go and feed the fish. Can I adopt you? Can I adopt you, Wiggle Waggles? Waggles, can I adopt you? Yo, Waggles. Waggles. I can't adopt them. Why? Why can Okay, I, maybe... Is it because I'm in a university and I, I can't adopt pets in university? Because if that's, if that's the case, then I'm going to be mad. Feel, watch, no, okay. That's that was a waste of time of me going over here trying to actually Man, I wish I could actually buy a pet, but sadly I can't. Wait, do I talk to him? <sighs> Wait, do I talk to him to actually buy a pet? Is that the thing that I do? Ask? No. Ask on the date? Um no, let's not. <laughs> but no, we're gonna get out of here because this place is crazy. Walked a lot. So we can actually go see where else can we go to have some funny funds here because it's been a while and I want to see we don't really need groceries at this moment to buy free time record okay need a break from work looking up the field of free ooh, ooh free time oh I want to go over there I haven't been there in a while I think we should go over there anyway and see what it's like and he wants to write a uh, best-selling novel, so I will have him actually, once he gets done having a little bit of funsies at, here at this recreation center, I'll have him write a book after he goes to school. Well, yeah, goes to class, because he actually has his final exam in a couple of hours, which is kind of crazy. And I'm kind of like, wow, he's almost already in his junior year, pretty much almost done with his, like, whole college year, which is going to be crazy. I'm kind of figuring, like, what really happens. Like, I know he, like, graduates and leaves. But I'm kind of curious, like, Bonnie is, like, kind of, like, a semester behind Daniel. So I'm thinking that she, Daniel will leave, be in my inventory, but I will still control Bonnie. Kind of curious. Kind of curious at that moment. So, ooh, this recreation center is quite, quite different, quite cool. Ooh, basketball. Let's go and shoot some hoops with this old man. We're going to beat your score, yo. Gonna, oh, well, he looks kind of, oh, my gosh, that lag. He looks kind of angry. Ethan Barron. We want to play some hoops? X to join. Yeah, okay. Here goes nothing, you guys. Gonna shoot some hoops. Bro. Why is this literally me? He, Daniel's literally going grandma style on him. This is literally me. I go grandma style on him. I'm gonna beat him. Let's see how he shoots. Dabble, dabble, dabble. Coach. Yo, grandma. Oh, uh, grandpa got no skills. Grandpa got no skills to pay the bills. Okay, is everyone doing grandma style today? I don't know. But this is so, so cool. I actually kind of love it. We're shooting some hoops. It's going to be a lot of fun. Let's play some soccer real quick. Let's play some soccer. Play, like, do some fun things here. He has class in, like, wait, does he have class today? He has his final exam in 11 hours. He goes to class in 2 p.m. Wait, do we, can we actually go to class from here? Is that the thing that we can actually do? Oh, no, I think we have to be on our actual lot to actually don't go to class. That's very interesting. Ooh, Linda Shin, Linda Shin, hey, Linda Shin, hey, Linda, 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 listen, hey, Linda, 
Yo, 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 hey, Sims 2, how convenient. Yo, Linda, how you doing? How you doing, Linda? Glad to see me. Hmm? Are you? Are you really? Well, let's go ahead and greet you anyway and see what you up to. We're going to go ahead and greet Linda. Linda Shin. Okay, they're not related. Okay, good. Because <laughs> that have been quite awkward. So let's go ahead and do a friendly hug. No, I don't. No, 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 no. I don't think that will work. Be greeted. Nope. Okay, let's go ahead and talk. We're going to chat. Friendly hug. See if that works. Does a friendly hug work with her? That's the real question. She's not really loving it. What's the relationship been like anyway? 14 of 3. That's interesting to know. We're not going to admire her because that'd be kind of creepy. Tell a joke. What? What fun things can she do? Okay, we need to go. We, we just need to go. He's just tired. Okay, just go home. Daniel, just go home. We'll chat with Linda later. Go home. Oh, she was playing with a, a Rubik's Cube. That's very interesting. Listen, Linda, where you get that from? I don't know where that came from, but we're going back to college. We're going to go get some sleep. We're going to eat some food, and then we're going to go to class, and then we're going to go do our final exam, and then we're going to be a junior in college. We're going to get that dean. We're going to be on that dean set for the, wait, one, two, for the fifth time in a row. Literally, no, no, not fifth, because freshman, first and second semester, and then sophomore right now, so our first semester we got on the dean's list. So it's going to be our fourth time being on the dean's list, which I'm kind of happy about, because it's so flippity flip cool. I wonder if we can drop out of college, Now that will be kind of funny. College dropout, then has a successful job as a writer. Who knows? Who knows? And currently it's 9, 9, uh, 9 a.m. when I kind of left from this little area here. So it kind of reset, which is great. So now we don't see Bonnie for a while. But his needs are still, still low at this point. So we'll have him eat some food right here. So can eat some biscuits. Bis bis biscuits and gravy. No, come back downstairs. Eat some food. I don't know who's calling you, but you need to, they need to stop. Okay, get a quick, can you get a snack, a uh, protein shake, fill you up. Oh, and he, there he goes. Answer the phone. Whoa, mother, what do you need? I was trying to sleep on the floor. My, bye, mother. Let me, let, me eat some, let me eat that protein shake, get that food in my belly. Okay, I'm going to have him go ahead and go to, go to sleep for a minute. Because he's very, very tired at this point, and I just, just need him to sleep. He has class in one hour, which is even worse. Oh, poor little soul of him. Oh, and she has her final exam in 27 hours. So that's how we got to play with that, and he's eat that. I don't know why Sheila is always coming to our house for some reason. Not really sure why, but um, I guess she's okay. Grab a plate. Just keep on grabbing plates here of this. Hopefully you gain some enthusiasm for, uh, just for some fun and for some foodies in your belly. So let's see. Okay. His thing is, he has five hours until his final exam. Okay. I'm going to have him sleep for a little bit so I can get his little mood up there. Hopefully he does very, very well on his final exam in like about four hours. And then I'll have him come downstairs, use the bathroom real quick, and then have him quick, uh, quick meal protein shake. So come downstairs now. Go to the bathroom, eat the protein shake, and eat some cookies. Not very healthy, but it's whatever. Oh no, final exam time, final, oh gosh. Six hours later. <gasps> oh my gosh, you guys, he got an A again, and oh, he's a, <gasps> okay, so Daniel has gained enough life experience to change his aspirations. Would you like to change his aspiration? Um, I think I kind of want to. So his he's almost a popularity aspiration. Highest scoring aspirations would be with what? What would this be? So reach the top of the political career, uh, athletic career, painting. Because he is a very good he was always painting. So I think that would be kind of a good thing to do. Knowledge. I think that would be kind of a good aspiration for him. But then I'm like, mm, I don't think he would be interested in the science career technically, just because he's not really in that into that. So to live with simple as more knowledge, the more higher aspiration, the longer and brainier life is. Oh gosh, this is kind of it's kind of hard to figure out what kind of what kind of you want. Like on the other hand, he wants to be a like a very successful artist, but then on the other hand, he wants to be very successful in school. So I think he would choose school over like famous career. 
And so now he has a secondary aspiration, which is kind of great. So he wants to do some research with someone. He also wants to talk about a hobby, write a novel, and as well go ice skating. Oh, very interesting to know. So now that he's a junior in college, he has a 4.1 GPA and his class assignment basically says moving that word, a modern dance workshop. So he's in the drama, which is kind of great and kind of cool. So he's going to eat some little chippy chips and clean up this mess of, of a mess. As right now, he's not very, very uh, tired at this point. So I'm going to have him work on his term paper for the moment. So let's go to college term paper and then we'll have him write a novel at this point. So do all the necessary fun things. Look at him go. Look at him go. I honestly am kind of, kind of happy about his work performance and what he's been doing for the past longest time. And Bonnie seems to be up very quickly. I'm not sure why. Has her final exam in about 16 hours. So that's when I'm going to end the part when she has her final exam. But I'm going to have her start gaze real quick so we can get that, that performance up for her school. And do that. Hopefully she doesn't get abducted by, by some type of like, I don't know. I'm not in the mood right now. Maybe later. Well, dang, Daniel. Damn it, Daniel. Back it again with the white vines. Well, that's just great. Well, at least at least we know he's a junior in college now, and then things will be set. He'll be set for life, pretty much. So I'll have him go downstairs real quick, get another shower, and then we're gonna have him serve some breakfast of some cereal. I wonder what kind of cereal he'll make. Probably like toasted oats or some like I don't know. What 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 does what what are those actually? Those look like raisin bran without the raisins, because that looks really, really gross at this point, but whatever. So you can eat that, eat that too. Eat all that. Have some fun. Play with that. Oh, I think she could I think she can stop actually learning about the logic skill now before she gets abducted by aliens and get probed, and I don't want that to happen. So um yeah, let's not do that today. So use the bathroom, take a shower, and we're gonna have you eat some cereal real quick at this point. So so do that. And then we'll have you go ahead and do your fun stuff for college and work on assignments and be cool and be cool in school. And it looks like you want to play Marco Polo in the pool. So I think next part we'll have some fun activities and actually go to the recreation center again and do some Marco Polo with Daniel or someone at least. Or invite her or family maybe. Who knows? So Bonnie has class in one hour, which is going to be very interesting to know. Wait. Her final exam is in eight hours. Okay, I think her going to class will boost up her little performance a little bit more. So now that he has class, now he's a junior in college. He has a final exam. Well, his class is at 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. I'm going to laugh at his mother. Hey, Daniel, is Bonnie able to talk? No, you should be in school, actually. Yeah, you should be in school, technically. So I'm not really sure why he's um, calling us and on. So is Bonnie uh, there? I don't think she is. So clean this up. Clean up this whole mess of a mess, because this place is a pigsty. Clean this up, too. There we go. Now that that's all sorted and ready to go, he can go ahead and uh, go to sleep. And after he takes his little nap, we'll go ahead and work on his term paper for the moment, because he's pretty much halfway. Bonnie has her final exam in about five more hours, so I'm going to have her work on her little term, well, her little assignment, technically. And I think when she's like done with her assignment... I think I want her and Daniel to go to see a shooting star. Oh my gosh, are you joking? Really? Okay, she's pretty much full. Okay, that's good. That's really, really great. But I'm thinking for having her and Daniel go out on a date to like celebrate with them going on the Dean list again and like kind of being more smart and more knowledgeable. That's going to be kind of a good thing to do for them to do. And she wants to influence one to ser uh, serve a meal. Influence one to uh, be... So she she's basically living the like she wants to have that wealthy fortune lifestyle. What a coinkadink! Didn't even know. Final exam one hour. Okay, time to go. Okay, the moment of truth. Here goes nothing. Okay, is his mood up there yet? Okay, it is. So now he's already good there. Okay, Kathy, Kathy, yo, 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 Kathy. Um, you were in my house once. You you should really leave. Kathy, just just leave. Is oh, let's not quit the game. Kathy can leave. Kathy needs to leave this place. She doesn't belong here. I don't know why she's here. Always kind of bombarding us every now and then. I just don't know why. Can I just, can I just be rude to her? Let's go and irritate her. Argue. No, we're throwing a flipping drink at her face because I cannot handle her anymore. Throwing a drink at her face. Okay, stop that real quick. 
Hey, Kathy. I got a surprise for you. Now get up. I want to get this right, right then and now. Getting this right now. <laughs> That's what you get for being in my house unannounced, even though I even locked the door. Oh, maybe I didn't lock the back door. Lock for household only. Okay, good. So now that I got that situated, and it's all done and ready to go. Um, oh, you guys, she got, she's finally on the Dean's list again. She's fit, structured, and on the Dean's list. She's a smarter pants. She's a finally a sophomore. She's in her second semester of sophomore year, which is awesome and great. I'm going to actually just put her mood up real quick because I want them to have a good date and I want them to be very successful and kind of build their relationship a little bit more. So Bonnie, let's gonna have you go ahead and study. Uh, wait, wait, why can't you study couple counseling? That's really weird. Research. Oh, wow, she has a lot of s smart things. Oh, never mind. that's kind of not smart. So now she's in her second semester of college as a biology major. It says the Lycosone, everyone's favorite trash eater. Oh, very convenient, I like that. So gonna have her actually study and research some stuff for her performance for class because that's what she kind of needs to do anyway and write her term paper and do her assignment. Daniel, on the other hand, let's go ahead and have you. So you're pretty much up there already and I think you already finished your term paper at this point. We're gonna go ahead and influence. <gasps> no, wait. Cut it under the stars. I think we should cut it under the stars instead of going on a date. I think we should. I don't know. Excellent date. Wait. Maybe we shouldn't. We're gonna go ahead and Let's see, call, we're gonna call a taxi. We're gonna go on a romantic date with that. <laughs> yeah, with that, no, with Bonnie, real quick. And we're gonna go to, let's see, hobbies, no. Oh, I forgot we had hobbies, forgot. And we got some cards, so I think we're going over here later on in the next part. We're gonna go downtown, and we're gonna go to the fancy, the fancy of club. And I think we should go to the Baron Botanical Dining. Since we've rescued, play no, no. We've, quote unquote, rescued plant life from all over downtown area to bring you a unique dining experience. 75% of your bill is doing it to saving even more plants. Le more plant lives each spring. Thank you for your support. Hmm. We've saved, quote unquote, plants lives. It's like, yo, Bonnie, you want to help? You want to come? So, Bonnie, let's stop your research. And go ahead and go on a, on a fantastic day for celebrating. We're celebrating you guys' um, fun things. Those are bills that we have to pay for soon. But we're going to celebrate them for being successful in, in college. Get, both being A pluses in their schooling. Be on the Dean's List like about for the 50, 50 billionth time. And um, hopefully they can rebuild their relationship a little bit more. So hopefully, I don't know if we can actually study couple counseling just because of our um, bookshelf. But I, I might need to have to buy a, a new bookshelf just be just to make sure I can actually study all the stuff instead of like just certain things. Or maybe it's just close off to Bonnie because she's more of a what's it called? More of a socialite than a study study person. Because you can see by her like her wants. It's like she wants like influence someone to do with this, influence someone to do that, influence someone to do my homework. I'm like, really, Bonnie? You're that shady. You're throwing that shade today. Like, let's not, okay? Let's just, let's just not, okay? Okay. <laughs> but Bonnie's a very, very interesting character, and hopefully they can actually be more successful in life. And now, now they're very successful. What does it say? What, what does it say? Be uneducated. That's kind of funny. Ooh. This is so cool. How, look how they rescued, quote, unquote, plant life. Huh, I like that. I really like this little area. So we're going to go ahead and actually be seated. Well, let's go ahead and actually be on a date. Oh, hold up. This is, oh, okay, let me show you guys. Okay, this character right here. This is Bonnie's mother, Donna, D wait, no, Gina Dawson. Yeah. So let's go ahead and actually have Daniel X Bonnie on a date. That's on a date. So now they're be on a date. We're going to go ahead and actually be seated real quick. Hopefully we have a successful date. So... Stacy, oh no. So, go dine out with Daniel, and then tell a joke to Daniel to, okay. Oh, he's not, somehow we have Count Scott Volton, the vampire here. 
He's in his, he's not in a shirt. We're going to have him change real quick. Can we, can we have him change into a new outfit? Is that a, a thing we can actually do? I guess not. Okay, whatever. Let's go and be seated over here. Bonnie's having me seated. Apparently she's in her casual wear. He's just shirtless. That's kind of a, a nice date to have. So let's go ahead and order for all. And we're going to go do the flame, the flatte mignon. Oh, I like it. So you also want to give, give toast to Daniel. Oh, I like that. So tell some jokes, be some bit more friendly. We're going to go and propose. Oh my, surprise. <gasps> no. Shut the front door. Are you, are you crazy? Are you serious? Dang, that was fast. You guys, if Flay Mignon, oh, it's like, oh, enjoy your Flay Mignon. And she just straight up digs in with it. So she wants to tell a joke to Daniel and dance with Daniel and as well play and entertain Daniel. So Bonnie, we're going to have you go ahead and entertain Daniel with a joke. We're also going to give a toast because I really think that'd be kind of cool and so fun. Like, is she going to make a toast? Wait, entertain, toast. Time is time is running out. What are you joking? It's like give it give a toast to Daniel. I think we should do that at their wedding one day. So that'd be kind of cool. So she also wants to tickle Bon. Wait, what else does she want to do? Play with Daniel. Can you take a picture with Daniel? I don't know. That's kind of, that's pretty weird. It's kind of funny how she's going to scarf down her food that quick, which is kind of interesting. Entertain Bonnie. Okay, okay. We can entertain her as well. What else do you want to do with Bonnie? Do other things as well? We're going to go ahead and tell a joke. We're also going to flirt. We're going to caress hands. Oh, how cute. I love it. We're also going to go ahead and blow a kiss towards her. Ooh, look at that. I love it. <gasps> It's like, oh, you slime dog, you. Oh, I love it. Oh, it's like the best day ever. I love it. It's like, I don't know why, but this day is like so, so cute. So, so amazing. We're also going to do a surprise. I'm going to have, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and do, do the, I'm going to do a surprise engagement. Do it, do it, Daniel. Do it. Daniel, do it. Daniel, do it. Um, uh, um, okay, I guess. <gasps> Look at her face. Oh, look at her face. She's like, oh, wait, you are not doing what I think you're doing, Daniel. I don't think you're doing this. I don't think you're doing this right now. Daniel, you better not be doing what I think you're doing. Oh, it's a nice restaurant. I like it. Okay. Nope. Put these walls down real quick. I have to take a picture of this box because honestly, it's like, wait, what is this? Honestly, I'm like kind of curious as well. Like, oh, this is like so amazing. This box. Symbolizes everything that Daniel has been waiting for this moment for so long that she cannot contain herself. Her eyelashes are going through her eyeballs. That's kind of kind of scary. So let's go ahead and actually take a nice little photo here. I'm going to put these. Okay. There we go. I'm taking a picture of this and that, that. I'm posting it on Twitter because why not? Okay. Ooh, guys, I am like. Okay. She's like literally, like literally shocked right now. She's like literally shocked. She cannot contain herself. Like, oh my gosh. 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 She's like, forget this. I got this ring. I got this rock. <laughs> Literally me. It's like, I hope you love it. It's like, I hope you love it. I hope you like the rocket baby. Like, it cost me like 50,000 50, simoleons. Literally 50,000 simoleons. A lot of money. Oh, oops. My bad. Pressing all sorts of buttons today. She really, really loves it. I'm kind of happy that she really, really loves it. Oh, man. I literally cannot wait until the wedding. They're going to be engaged for like for a while just because I, I want them to basically enjoy their time in college and be more focused in school. So now they're engaged. And what is going on over there? They be floating? Th are they? Are they? Are they? Well, are you? Are you guys on something? Is those plants giving you some juice? Are you on that plant life, bon Donna? Gina? She These people are on something. They've been like I like I've been drinking, literally. So now that they're engaged, I'm so excited. 
<laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. This is so romantic. I love it. So we're going to go ahead and pay the bill. Oh my gosh, this, it was scary. But we're going to go ahead and actually leave and pay the bill real quick. So 50 simoleons. Now that we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and do a little suck her, suck her face. And then we're also going to go ahead and scope the room as well. Tender kiss. Let's scope the room. Oh, I don't know where it's at. Oh, well. I like it. I love it. I want to know. Okay, so let me know what you guys think in the comments below of this proposal. Um, Bonnie? Bonnie? What? What? Bonnie? Did, did you just fart? Did you just... Bonnie? What? What did... What? Bonnie? Oh, my gosh. That Flamion did some stuff for you. I was like, mm-mm. Grody, gross, Bonnie. You're gross. It's like, hey, little bit, let me give you a smudge. That's what I farted. I'm like, mm, let's not. We're also going to go leap into her arms as well because she's very strong. Romantic. And we're also going to do a squeeze. And we're also going to go ahead and make out. Oh, I love it so, 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 so much. I love it. So I'm going to go ahead and actually let this part off right here. I'm going to go ahead and head home right now because we can't really save on this lot. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Feel free to comment down below your thoughts and suggestions of what do you think of this proposal. Oh my gosh, it's Miss Crunklebottom. Miss Crunklebottom right now. Oh my gosh, Miss Crunklebottom. She's kind of funny. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Feel free to comment down below your thoughts and suggestions down below. And um, yeah, I'm kind of curious on where we should go for like our quote-unquote honeymoon or whatever you want to call it. And um, yeah, I love you guys so much. Feel free to comment and subscribe. And uh, yeah, see you guys later. Bye.